I'm ill. Poor me, there's snot coming out my nose. What? My snot is purple because I'm an alien. That's the real reason why the background is cling filmed, because I have a very rare illness. It's called WAP, aka wet ass pussy disease. What's that around my neck? It's not, it's not a penis, guys. It's a headset. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing this in the video. Don't be alarmed, because it is massive. Now, the thing is, I've got quite a small head under all this hair, uh, so I might look kind of funny and weird, but it's... So I can hear my own voice. You can't hear that, I don't know why, like you can hear that. Well, you can, I hear that actually, because the mic's on at all times. I didn't, oh, I don't know where this is going. I didn't even plan any of this intro before I just, I just hit record and started speaking and I'm gonna watch the video before I get in trouble. <laughs> actually, I should mention what the video is. We're watching a wife swap. Uh, shout out to Gunner TV, AKA Gunner TV Live because I was searching for funny wife swap episodes. His video came up. I didn't watch his video because I don't want to steal anyone's jokes unconsciously, subconsciously. Definitely not gonna be unconscious in this video. But he, I saw he'd reacted to this one. This one's like top rated on all the wife swap episodes. I think they're like, one of the families are ghost hunters. I don't know, it's crazy. So that's what we're reacting to. But before we react, twerk on the like button, twerk on the subscribe button, drop a comment. That'll be all. <coughs> Poor me. Drop a like if you wanna end illness. If there's something strange in Northern Illinois, who are you gonna call? Myers family. They ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ghost hunting is fun because there's a certain thrill to thrill of the unknown. We go to every place from cemeteries, and in buildings, people's houses. They call upon your spirit. He's sitting right in front of There he is. <laughs> there he is. A whole family of ghost hunters. That is crazy. You're even getting like kids involved. I suppose for any ghost hunter to exist, there has to be young ones being brought up into that role. And this is the next generation. They're stood looking at a gravestone <laughs> going, there he is, he sat right in front of you. I don't know about you guys, I can't see a single ghost in this screenshot right here. <laughs> also, I'm playing, at the, I'm playing this video at like uh, 1.2 times speed to avoid, I don't, that's just me doing times. 1.2 times speed to avoid copyright strikes. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so everything's a little bit quicker. They're just, <laughs> they're walking around a, a cemetery, by the way, like this, just <laughs> like Minecraft characters. There he is, he sat right in front of you. The Myers family. Look at this mess on the floor. Look at this. They've messed up all the snow. They've just been waddling around the whole cemetery. Andrew was 19. Yes, he was 16. Ricky was 14. Tom was 4. That's great input from Tom. His name was Tom, right? <laughs> There's uh, Tom who's 4. <laughs> I think Tom is a weirdo and I'd push his face in the snow. You can't say that about a 4-year-old. But I just did. I feel emotions. I'll smell scents. I get full apparitions. She smells scents. That's, <laughs> that's normal. I can do that. The clip of her just touching the wall. Yeah, I can feel something. <laughs> Hang on. I can smell. That's weird. And then there was a piercing sensation in my left temple. Kelsey can touch an object and know its history. Okay, well that's just bullshit. Kelsey can't do that. Kelsey is a liar. And everyone's just believing Kelsey. <laughs> she can just touch an object and know its history. But this is so, there's so much happening right now. How much have we watched? 40 seconds. This is a wife swap episode. This feels like I'm watching some like, just specifically ghost hunting thing. If this is a wife swap episode, already Kelsey's fingering some sword from World War II. Tom's in the snow. <coughs> He's taking away the guy's headache, just taking his pain. Whoa. And uh, the mum can smell. She's got senses, which is great. Here's proof that we've actually seen paranormal activities. You can see the anomalies. Oh, there's there. the right there. This is the case that we take on all of our ghost hunting. The funny thing about all ghost hunting things is that their proof is never proof. Like, surely someone would have caught a ghost on camera by now. The amount of ghost hunting series there are. And you can even fake shit and make it look real. No one's even made like a real looking fake shit. So, I don't think they're real. If ghosts are real, touch my gooch right now. No. This reads electronic magnetic fields. We also use headlamps. It allows me to have my hands free as a shaman. Oh, yeah, you, 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 you. <laughs> this I can't, I can't believe I'm watching a wife swap episode right now. What is going on? <laughs> Do you know how pissed off I'd be if I, I had like dead relatives in that graveyard? You just turn up to drop some flowers off and you got these fuckers running around with just torches on. <laughs> Walking all weird, going eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> was a prophet from the Shoshone tribe. All shamans are chosen by the age of three. So at the age of three, Tom's grandfather showed up, even though he's been dead for 20 years, and went through an indoctrination ceremony. Okay, Tom's got something wrong with him. 
Tom is not a shaman. Why, why is the obvious answer that he's a shaman rather than Tom's a fucking lunatic? Why is that where you end up? People want, want to believe something so much that they'll ignore what's right in front of them. Tom's a psycho. Tom's planning something. Also, this guy was chosen by the age of three. You can't trust anyone who says shit like that, by the way. They just go, oh, I was chosen by whatever it is. Like, you know, there's, actually, I don't want things I want to, I don't want to overstep here in case one of you put a curse on me or make a voodoo doll. I believe in it all. You know what, I'm, I don't want to be harmed by any of you. You're all evil. Grandpa, he was chasing the monster with a oh. chainsaw, then he protected me. And they, they're believing Tom right now. Tom's a liar as well. What do you mean grandpa was chasing a monster with a chainsaw to protect you? How is a full grown man believing a four year old boy telling him something like that? And he thinks, oh, rather than that being his imagination, he's a shaman, he's been chosen. Everything is not what I do, it makes me who I am. Sam likes her clothes steamed really, really well. Shane indulges me by ironing my clothes and making my coffee, but I indulge him by letting him. It's a way to make him feel more important. <laughs> Shane indulges me by being a little submissive, a uh, little submissive steamer, and I indulge him by letting him. Did I say indulge him twice or did I say indulge her, indulge him? I can't remember. You know what I'm trying to say here. She's the boss. I pick out her clothes. Well, if I do this shirt, it only comes down to here. I warm the lotion up for her. She doesn't like children. She hates children. I asked her why she had four of them. She said she likes sex. Oh, that's awful. She's not a good mum then either. That's so bad. She doesn't even like children. Well, get that thing off the fucking counter then. Flick him off. Because that's not even a child. That's a full grown man in that body. I know it is. And he's planning to kill you all. Yeah, that's what an, what, what an answer to give your child when she said, like, it's a known thing for the children to know that their mum doesn't like children. And then when they ask, oh, why don't you like children, mum? She says, oh, because I like sex. No wonder this guy's a little, I don't know what the word, like a little uh, goblin for her. Steaming her clothes, like warming up lotion. That's, an, that's a little step too far, I think. If you're warming up someone else's lotion, what's the point in you having a life? Not say, not, no, I'm not saying you should be dead, but I'm saying you've, you've got like, what, 80 years on this planet? and you're spending a majority of it warming up lotion for another person. What's the point in you wasting your life, is what I'm saying. You only realize it when it's not done. <laughs> My mother is um, cold and callous. Our kids raise themselves. I've been raised to be self-sufficient. He steps in as a parent. I'll keep him around as long as he's an asset here. <laughs> Were you gonna have him warming up your lotion for you? You just, what do you mean, keep him around as long as he's an asset? This, this woman is horrible. I'm surprised the kids are so, like, nice. Because when you have a mum who hates you, usually you're a bit rebellious towards her, but they're just being, they're just submissive little ghost hunters. As long as he's an asset here. The Myers kids are also an intellectually superior breed. They are very well-rounded. They can kind of attack people if they really think that they're unintelligent. So they're just going around uh, attacking stupid people. Maybe the kids aren't great after all. That's never gonna get them well, especially when you're going around claiming you're a chosen shaman or this girl's touching objects saying, oh, I know the history of this thing. And then you start attacking someone for being stupid. You're gonna end up in a bin. You're gonna be put in a bin. That happens. So we only have one progressive tax. The rest are regressive. If I have an opinion or a thought, I'm going to assert it. And if that's above your head, then I'm sorry. Socialism is perfect on paper. How can you be talking about tax at dinner at like 18 years old and ghost hunting as soon as it gets dark? This, these things don't match up. I forgot we were watching the wife's one episode. Life in cold country is simple. Mom should be homemakers and mommies. Daddy should be the breadwinners. And I enjoy it. I don't bother me. I like it. Drinking the sweeping mom laundry. Bike in the beds. Bike in the beds? You're bike in the beds at 180, fan degree? You putting chocolate chips in there? Hey, she said she was baking the beds, guys. <laughs> she said she was baking the beds. I'm just a comedian. Sweet the line, cooking supper. My chores around the house. Just keep. <laughs> what the fuck was that for a cutscene? Her chores around the house. <laughs> I kind of look, if you put me in camo and you shave my head, that's me. Couch warm, keep my back relaxed. She's a free maid. I don't have to pay for this maid. Some people think she shouldn't pamper her husband. That's stupid. As long as he loves me and needs me, I'm going to be there. In my family, there's Tiffany, Caitlin, Lindsay. It's my job as the mama to pamper my children and do whatever I can to make them happy. <laughs> this, how old is this show? She's got a flip phone calling from upstairs. Can you bring some lemonade, please? Can you bring some lemonade? Would you walk your ass down and get some lemonade? How about that? It's pretty much what she loves to do is stay at home and clean house and cook supper, you know? Do you need anything else, hon? Mm -mm. That's just a lot of trouble for them to have to make the bed. I love being needed. When my kids need me, I know that they love me. Your bag's heavier than normal, too. I mean, I'll do everything for them as long as I can, as, as long as they're, you know, in my home. I mean, I don't think, I don't think you should do all that, but it seems like she actually likes doing all that. Some people like it. Some people like the, tra like the traditional get together. 
of a family where the man works, the woman is like the housewife. Some people like that. This woman clearly loves that. Uh, some people don't, like the Myers family. And so it's gonna be an interesting little wife swap. I can see why they chose these two people now. She wants really lenient. She lets me do whatever I want. Oh, Tiffany didn't come home till five this morning. I hate when Tommy tries to tell me what to do because Tommy's not my real dad. I yeah, I cut the cord to my air conditioner. So I just try to stay away from him as much as possible. And Tommy hides me from Tiffany and the rest of the fucking. <laughs> We just dresses the same as his tent. Everything he owns is... I've just seen his face. What the fuck? <laughs> What's he doing in there? This is what happens when you've got an 18-year-old stepdaughter bitch. I don't mean to say the word bitch, but I just it fit with the thing. You gotta, you gotta pop up a little tent in the back garden and poke your head out. <laughs> what is going on? Family whenever he can by going hunting. I come get away from all the noise, the argument, the fighting. I'm a man's man. I think a wife should stay at home, and make some babies. Just stay at home and make babies by themselves. <laughs> Find a way so I don't got to. I just leave my dick at the door. I go out hunting. She uses my dick. I come back and I got babies. That's how I work, man. I think if he, if you put me in a forest and he had to hunt me down and I get like a, I don't know, five minute head start, he's gonna kill me in six minutes. He's killing me in six minutes. Work if they want to, as long as they're not married to me. What do they hope to gain from the swap? I hope I can bring to the new family my knowledge of the supernatural. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm gonna show them that country mamas. Just wait till the, uh, the country family find out that uh, the other wife has senses. Wait till they find out she can smell and feel. They're gonna freak out. Don't dirty my house while I'm gone, all right? Sam immediately uses her gift for sensing residual emotional energy. There's a lot of commotion here. Do they, does, do you think she genuinely believes like she can do that or she's like showing off for the cameras? Do they, do people genuinely sit there and go? Yeah, I sense someone is horny in this house. Or they, do they think they actually can do that? I don't know. As a kid, I was obsessed with werewolves and I used to think if I looked up at a full moon hard enough and for long enough, something might happen. And I hoped, but, uh, and sometimes I would just pretend like, you know, something was coming over me, but not like that. No one fucking take that out of context either. Uh, but nothing ever happened and I can recognize nothing ever happened. I didn't convince myself or lie to myself to think that I did become a werewolf one night because I never did. It's not too late. It's very homey. What kind of psycho nuts have I been sent to? It's like satanic stuff to me. What have I done to my kids? It's very well decorated. She's crying. She's crying because she's seen like a sword on the wall. I think your kids are going to be just fine. Your your husband owes like a owes like a bow and arrow, so I think that'll be fine. But to be fair, if he pings the bow and arrow at, you know, the supernatural woman, she can literally just do that. <laughs> and it will just miss her. Like, she could just go, fuck off. Spin it round, straight back at him. Ew. Uh, it's a turkey. Oh my god, they're turkey hunters. Where is the girl stuff? What do I do for a living? I don't get it, I'm confused. We are a family of hunters. Ghost hunters, that is. <laughs> I was brought into this world to be a mama and a wife. She's a stay-at-home mom. She's a stay-at-home mom. Her sensing is getting out of control. She's getting good at this. Also, this, uh, this lady's face is kind of weird. It's a little bit weird. It's always like, she's kind of like a, like a goth emo, like, Half her face is covered by hair, and she's like, she's always like that. What have I done to my kids? Because he stays at home and runs the house. It's my job to cook, clean, to do the laundry. Does he wear a dress? What else does she do? That's not on. It's a stupid joke. Also, how is so how's this gonna work? Is she is she now gonna do the other wives' usual jobs? Like, is she gonna go to her work, or is she gonna stay at home as well? Then you got her and him at home doing stuff. I wonder if he's gonna warm up her uh, lotion or maybe he's gonna continue to warm up his wife's lotion and put it in the post and send it. My high powered executive and when I come home, I don't want to deal with screaming kids or dirty dishes. That sounds like a man, not a woman. My kids are the world. I wait on them hand and foot. I don't mind, it's just another way to show my kids how I love them. Well, how are the children showing you that they love you, Karen? Don't cuddle my kids, why not? That's the best part of being a mommy. She's just cold. This is crazy. I want y'all to tell me about this ghost time. I can see dead people and I can pick up vibrations on objects. I can pick up vibrations on objects as well when the object is a uh, pulsating dildo 3000. This is just a lie! Why do people lie all the time? Do you mean you could sense ghosts and you can pick up vibrations on objects? If you touch something for long enough and convince yourself you're feeling a vibration, you probably, you could probably do that. Yup. I'm getting it right now. I'm getting it right now. I wonder if I put my butt on that, that'll vibrate. Wow, that's heaven. <sighs> Sorry about that. 
Turn around, sometimes I get a headache in my left temple. And I'm a shop. In your left, in your left what? Pimple? In your left nipple? <laughs> he gets a headache in his left nipple? That's near enough impossible! I see entities just like I see you. Tommy has the same gifts that I do. See, Tommy's a fucking, Tommy's a fucking lunatic. What do you mean Tommy has the same gifts? How, if he can, right, say he can see uh, ghosts just like he can see us. How do you know Tommy can see him? He's not just chatting shit. I'm gonna sleep tonight with my eyes wide open and the blankets up to here. My husband and my kids and I, we check out haunted places. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in ghosts. Yeah. And my new wife is crazy. I was hoping I'd get somebody that had a good look inside, you know, got brains. No, they send me. He said on the good look inside. What were you planning on doing? Wife swap does not mean that's your new wife for the week. That's that's bad. What he said is bad. Ooh, you know, crazy. Now I see something. I'm going to go with you together. Oh, that floor. This feeling of hopelessness I'm getting so strongly. Where is she? She just she's just opening up. She's not even she's not even sensing anything. I'm just getting this overwhelming feeling of hopelessness. And to be honest with you, my mental health right now has just been taking a it's taken a plummet recently. <laughs> There's no ghost in the scenario. She is just opening up because her mum doesn't love her. That's why. What do you feel? None. There ain't nothing. These guys are 110% capital F R E A K S S Thanks. It's fucking harsh. Also, it took me a long time to figure out that spelling. You said that too quick. I have got this audio. I have got this sped up though. I keep forgetting that. Uh, yeah, they can't call them freaks. And spell it out as well is just absolutely disrespectful. To go, oh, you are an F R E. Yeah. Etc. I don't know the rest how to spell that word, but. Chi chi in a chi. Mike's up already. I'm past dinner time. Mom serving us dinner. Let's see what I can do. Get in the fucking kitchen. Get in the kitchen. I want some mash and tighter. I want a mash and tighter. Also, I've just realized the fact that he said he was hoping for someone good looking. So he's just calling her butters. He's calling her butters and now sending her off into the kitchen. The kids just kind of hang out and watch. There's no rules for them. She basically does what she pleases around here. She's a stepdaughter, so pretty much I really do control it. I think it's normal that children will fight with their parents, but the amount of tension between them, I don't believe is normal. You don't have attitude. And you don't have attitude. And I do. You damn lost your mind. You damn near lost your mind. What in tarnation? What in tarnation? He's arguing with like an 18 year old girl, but to be fair, what can you do? He's like the stepdad, he's, he's in an awkward position. Yeah, it's kind of a weird one. I'm surprised that like mum doing the wife swap is, uh, you know, so relaxed seeing as she hates kids and she's surrounded by it, like a new set of kids. She's actually getting stuck in, she's making food. She surprised me, you've charmed me. Morning of the swap and Karen, more used to serving, must sit back while dad mom Shane does the toting. Dad mom, you could just call him a house husband, a house hubby, if you will, maybe. They just gotta do Shane, do Shane dirty. Let Shane iron if Shane wants to iron. I wouldn't take her shopping. I would've wore this when I was in high school. So like, this would work with this. You can't do ivory because it's gonna make it look dirty. Okay, that's just like too- I like to see what you picked out for. How does he know what goes with- Okay, he's kind of shocking me actually. Shane doesn't look like he has that knowledge. I would've worn that in high school. <laughs> you can't wear, you can't wear ivory. That's just, it just looks dirty. He actually picks, picks and pairs outfits. If I had to do that, I'd put, in a, I'd put her in a full suit. I'd put her in a full suit, full white suit. So I look pretty cool. What? I swear in my life, I've never known a man where, yeah, I got a gay cousin that could pick out clothes that perfect. People in, my, in Kentucky would say it was sissy-ish. If somebody wants to see me as a sissy. <laughs> That's her toning it down. People in Kentucky would say it's sissy-ish. There's another word she's not gonna say. I'm surprised she's not gonna say it. She just called her cousin here. Times have changed so much. This is, she is so shocked by the fact a guy has like fashion awareness. <laughs> And he's about to snap off. Go for it. You know what? You're close-minded. Close-minded, sucker. Sam, who believes children should be independent, must make breakfast. And I thought I was going to say. Sam, who believes children should be dead. What's she making? Cinnamon rolls as well? She's got to tidy up. Tidying up as well. Just let the kids tidy up. I guess she can't because she's got to do what the other mom does. The other mom should let the kids tidy up. Leave kids to their own devices. Look. I tidy my room. Do you know what makes it easier? Cling filming the whole thing. That's why I've done it. I'm just kind of surprised that you can just, you know, pick something out, throw it on the floor, and then go and get something else. Orange shirt? Dirty. I never even saw you in this. I slept in it. Oh, okay. You're okay with mom following you around, picking up all your clothes? I mean, whatever floats are about. What would happen if you had to do your own laundry? Do you care about any of this? No, you don't, huh? I just made you shit yourself. Because I'm a shaman. I just made you shit your pants. Out your butt. A lot of clothes just probably wouldn't be getting washed. The kids have absolutely no responsibility. Now they're incredibly dependent on her. Would you get to bring me up a juice, please? Love to. 
I wouldn't be surprised if those kids still breastfed from their mum. I wouldn't be surprised by that. I wouldn't. Heron must spend the day at Sam's high-pressure job. Hello. Hello. That's unrealistic. Because I'm sitting here thinking is what I could be doing at home. Tommy can't find his clothes because Sam hasn't fixed the light by the closet. I asked Sam earlier to replace the bulb. Here's three hours later. The light still ain't fixed. I asked you last night to change the light out where I get my clothes. Right. And you still didn't change the light. I asked you to change it. Thank you can change the light bulb today. Change the light bulb yourself, you puss mouth. You can't change a light bulb yourself. You really gonna make your wife do that? Also, part of the, like the traditional male-female marriage where the female is the housewife and the man goes out and gets the bread. Also, why, why are they always going out and getting bread? Get a job. Stop going out and getting bread all day. Anyway, uh, I thought he, he was, in that scenario, the men do like house chores, like, like handyman chores, like changing light bulbs and shit. But he just doesn't even do that. He does niche. I haven't even seen him at work. He just eats lunch and hunts. Let me show you a few things that Cameron would have a fit over. See, like, I like didn't, this. I didn't do floors yet, so. Coffee pot, you know, cleaning, the trash. Everything I've told you, you've got an excuse for it. It upsets me. You come here to do Karen's job. She treats his house like the president lives here. Mm hmm Which is me. Tommy doesn't think oh. that way. Which is me. I'm the president. You're not the president. I know because I can tell. Joe Biden is a president right now. He believes that they're only here to serve their husbands or men in general. In Illinois, Karen's home from the office. Today, I learned about negative externalities. So you think that the world is a code? What was it you said? I forgot. see, you're getting ahead of yourself. Well, negative externality is bad because it causes market failure. I wouldn't be able to digest my food if these guys were yapping on at fucking dinner like that. Just shut up. You talking about negative ex externalities? Externalities. What are you talking about science when I'm trying to eat some meat and pudding? Huh? I'm trying to eat some pudding. Yeah, I couldn't handle that. Do you know what I'd say? I'd say, put a sock in it. That's what I'd say. I'd even go as far as saying, put a sock in it. The conversation was really up there. I think this family thinks that they're the brainiacs of the world. I think that they're so smart, they see me as an idiot and they're stupid. Well, to be fair, when, you're, <laughs> when your only input is, I just ate a mushroom and that was awesome. You're not doing yourself any favors. What the fuck is that? A rule change in Kentucky, and Tommy, fed up with Sam's performance as a mother, goes hunting to get away. Back in the tent. Oh, how I'm handling Sam when you're back. Can't shoot her, you know, she's my wife. Yeah, I go to jail and stuff like that. <laughs> Can't shoot her, she's my wife. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so, like, stereotypical. He's in. He's also in the tent with his brother, with his homie, who's locked and loaded as well, by the way. <laughs> he just goes out hunting. Does he, does he work? He was, he's a minor, isn't he? He looks too old to be a minor. It's a bad joke. Okay, where's breakfast? And the real Karen would already have breakfast ready. All she wants to do is make you guys happy breakfast. and you guys trample all over her. Do you think all moms do this? No, some moms are lazy. A real mom would just shut her mouth and bite her tongue and do her damn job. Y'all actually hungry now? I don't like this guy. He sucks. He actually sucks ass. He sucks so much ass. But he would still beat me in an, a bow and arrow fight. Hand to hand combat would happen though. I would, I would just would, I would. No, I ain't hungry, I'm going <laughs> That's fucked up. Now. Hold on, you just took an entire meal and threw it away? Yeah. But I put the time into it, I put the energy into it. I do what I please. Oh, he's a wow. fucker. I threw out my breakfast because I had to wait an hour to eat it. When I come on fun, I want my breakfast ready. Oh my god. I actually do want to squish his face in, I really want to squish it in. I think she should stop making him food and uh, see what he- I bet he can't cook, so he, he will actually starve, I think. Oh, I hate him so much. And he's like treating a stranger like this, so I reckon he would treat his wife even worse because he's just one of those guys. Fuck that guy. How about how does uh, how does the worst headlock you've ever been in sound, huh? Because if I ever see you, your head's going there, mate. I sat and made breakfast. He sat and watched me make breakfast so he can insult me. I'm waiting for him to blow up. You're saying that I'm I'm just not smart. I think you're less intelligent than the rest of us. Yes. So you think that I function in my house because we're a bunch of? Oh, that's so awkward. Even if you think that, you don't say it, man. I know, by the way, everyone watching this, I'm smarter than all of you. I'm more smarter. My brain is more better. Wait a minute. My brain is more better. Wait a minute. That's a joke. I'm joking, by the way. This guy also sucks. Everyone in this thing sucks. Actually, not not a single person in this doesn't suck. Maybe the dad, the like, the dad who ha is like a fashionista. The fashionista dad. Dad mum, as they call him. He's all right. Because he just, uh, I don't know. He's just all right. <laughs> everyone else pretty sucks unintelligent people, but in this house, I don't function. You're obviously less um, intelligent than the rest of us, and it shows. It's fine. I'm done. I don't want to talk about it. It'll make me mad. When I told Karen that she wasn't as intelligent as the rest of us, I had a feeling she could get upset by it. I think he's, uh, he's probably got a smidge of autism or something. Not, I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying he's not got any, like, uh, 
social cues, any uh, like social awareness, because those things you just don't say. I definitely think you're less intelligent than us. And I knew it, I knew that would upset her, but I don't care. <laughs> either either that, or he uh, is just an absolute little fuck. So it's one or the other. The truth is more important than someone's feelings. I'm dumb. My family's dumb. Everybody around us is dumb. But this family. Your husband is dumb, though. Brains in he the is world. Dumb. Well, they're wrong. This is a bunch of ignorant people, and that's all I gotta say. The new wives take control. This family thinks they're better than anyone else, but I'm gonna bring them down to earth with a bump. I'll bring you down to earth with a bump, baby bump. She's gonna bring them down to earth with that somehow. The Suttons are definitely gonna understand how they make Karen feel. The families are summoned to the rules change ceremony. It's time for the wives to lay down the new rules which the families must obey. Shane, you have dragged your family into a crazy world and convinced everybody that they had these dumb powers. Well, it's time to change, and I'm in charge now. <laughs> You've convinced everyone they've got these dumb powers. <laughs> I actually think the mastermind behind all of this is Tom, the little four-year-old. I think he's convinced everyone they've got powers. I think he's uh, he plays more of a role in this than you all think. Your mom won't be here forever, picking up after you. And the sooner you realize that, the better for all of you. Shane, you think that by cooking and cleaning, you are there for the family, but you know, it's just being a sissy. I'm taking over all the cooking and cleaning. <laughs> cooking and cleaning? You're just being a sissy. The, Shane's the only guy who's like, fine. Like, he's not doing anything bad. You, can, you can't just, you can't just slam the guy for cooking and cleaning. You're just being a sissy. You're not helping no one. You're going to make the kids gay doing that. <laughs> Poor fucking Shane, man. Tommy, something's gone awry between you and Tiffany. You're going to do some role playing to try and get to the bottom of where the relationship has gone wrong. I am banning long words, and if you use a word I don't understand, I'm gonna make you write it on your forehead. That just, oh, that, that makes her look worse. She's, <laughs> you think you're smarter than everyone else? I'm banning long words that I don't understand. And if I don't understand the long word, I'm writing it on your forehead. Like, what's the perception of that? Right, someone write, Perception on her forehead for fuck, for fuck's sake. Rap, pep, 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 pep. and anonymous, these big words that to me are worthless words. Those are everyday Those words. Are... Put her to sleep. Not in a, not in a, not in a, not in a, not in a killer way, but just put her to, put her to bed for the night for that. Yeah. I can't even remember what she said. <laughs> she said something. Hipper, hipper, hippoclitter, hippoclitter, flip, blah, blah, blah. That's a long word. Hippoclitter, flip, blah, blah. That's a long word. Write that on my forehead. <laughs> you girls are going to start taking some responsibility for yourselves, start helping out with chores. Drew, Pumping you made me feel chores, pretty worthless. Like I'm gonna arrange a date for you to go on. Sure, that's a challenge. Sure, it's a challenge. I can make her cry, I'm sure. You are taking over her domestic duties. Don't be a sissy boy, huh? See these silly pictures of what you call haunted buildings? From now on, all this is banned. No, don't oh. care. It's not your rules, this is my rules. Remember, I'm the mama. Just get, just fucking punches her. <laughs> Clearly you want a big strong man that can make you feel worthless, huh? He was not happy that she shredded up his photos, but to be fair, you shouldn't have shredded up his photos. That's a bit far. You could have just said no more of this. What's he gonna do with that photo? It's a, literally a picture of a graveyard as well. It's kind of actually kind of creepy. All she sat down and did today was come up with a bunch of ways to punish us. You really aren't that intelligent. Okay. Instead of me down here and them up here, I only put them a level below. Holy crap, there better not be ghosts up here in my room. Don't take another picture of scary right now. One time I walked in my kitchen, every single cabinet door in my kitchen was open. <laughs> By the way, my husband Shane had opened the doors beforehand, but still. I walked in the kitchen and all the cabinet doors were open. That's fucking weird. Orbs, that's uh, bullshit, that's dust. Um, I filmed a couple of TikToks recently where I was doing, uh, mind if I play some white noise? And then I'd turn over, I'd come back. It was filmed in the dark, the, the torch was on. You could see loads of dust. Just try it, try it yourself. Film, film your room, move your duvet around, and film the air with the flash on. You'll see so much dust. But people are like, oh my god, there's, <laughs> you've got an orb infestation. You're infested with orbs. If I'm infested with orbs, how come I got none up my butt then? And I haven't been, uh, possessed through the butt. It can happen. Probably the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Weird, I was just freaking crazy. My attitude now is, you know what, if you want me to be a hick like your husband, then that's what I'm gonna treat you like. Finish eating, we have things to do today. This is just an absolute mess. My mom does this, why do I have to do it? It's stupid. You really need to pick up the pace on this. We have some outdoor work. I ain't bragging this how you are, huh? You're angry. This ain't my job. Your pictures would help. I try not to grab too much information at one time because I, I like to go with my, my gut. That's great. You'd be a great detective. <laughs> he doesn't like to go off evidence. He prefers to use his gut. He'd rather use his gut on this one, guys, if that's fine. I know that this serial killer is that large and he's, he's you know, racked up a hundred people. But uh, if we just go with Shane's gut on this one, I'm sure we'll get there before they hit the thousand mark. When he's off ill, he just le he <laughs> comes in and drops his gut off so that they can use his gut to find more killers. 
he can't afford a day off. He's got to, you know, he's got to give them his gut. He's got to give them his gut, guys. I mean, I can tell you the things I know automatically. It's a pretty big guy, like six foot, six foot two, dark appearance, dark hair. You are so him. right on. I started painting stuff before I came inside. I would say he's definitely close by. <laughs> he's pretty close by. Just fucking with you. Six foot two, dark hair, like tall. Every murderer looks like that. Just kidding, I'm six, five. Well, you've helped me a lot. Awesome. Do you do want it. to be a detective? I would love to be a detective. I believe he is psychic. I miss being here and being respected. Is the laundry all done? Make sure that Tiffany's room is picked up and you have to fix dinner so it's ready when they get home. You're a woman, ain't you? A man sits back and watches his wife do work. You're a female. Mm -hmm. Boobies? I have four degrees. There's a clear, uh, there's a clear divide in intelligence on this table. <laughs> girl, woman, boobies. I've got four degrees. Boobies, girl, female. You get that? I really don't want to do chores. I still feel like it's a woman's job. I ain't changing my mind. I'm hiding them up. What I found out today, I'm twice the man. <laughs> I got two dicks. I don't know why I'm doing that accent for him as well. I'm getting used to it. I quite like it. I found out I'm twice the man. I got four balls in my bag. I've been to the doctors. And do what I did today and earn a living, but I can also come home and love on my kids. I can read them books. I don't think love on your kids should ever be used in a sentence, by the way. He used that wrong, I think. I can come home and love on my kids. I can make love on my kids. You need time for you too. You need to be able to go out and say, you know what, if anything ever happened in my family, I could go out and provide. I probably never changed my mind that a mom should be at home, but I'm breaking down a little bit. Leaving the dishes up to Tommy. No, 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 can, can you? So basically you want me to do dishes. So basically you want me to do dishes. Does it look like I have a vagina? You want to see my lack of a puss? Get out of here. Did they really just have a slice of frozen pizza each? That's nothing. I could eat more than that. That's nothing. You forgot a pitcher in the pan. You gotta wash the pan. <laughs> Sam thinks I'm gonna be a little sissy boy. I don't break every dish in the house. He's ill equipped as a parent to take care of his own children at this point. So that looks so fake, the smash of the plate. He was like putting stuff away so quick, and then all of a sudden he just did that and then carried on working. Usually, like, if you smash a plate, you're out. You've you've blown. But he uh he just got back to work afterwards. And big words are banned. Yes, that's our food. Pretty good prayer. It's pretty all inclusive. Did you say inclusive? Yes, prayer encompassed everything. Now you said encompass. <laughs> Come on, she's making herself look bad now inclusive you can't put you can't punish them for using the word inclusive there's like no short replacement for that word uh, i can't write on our head it's so soft i don't want my children to learn that we degrade ourselves by writing things on our head look at me we shouldn't write on our heads but look I guess he had to take it off now i have to explain to a four-year-old why that was a bad idea never I'm sorry <laughs> karen you know i'm not good at this karen you know i'm not good at this <laughs> she's coming laughing the whole reaction was She's coming laughing. I've been filming for an hour. I think I'm actually delirious. I don't, don't, know, don't know what's going on anymore. We've got like eight minutes left. I'm sorry, we're never trying to hurt you. <laughs> I know you weren't. There's so many things that I need to change. Like, I didn't realize how much she felt we were isolating her. I actually care about how she feels. I hope your mom's taught them to give, you know, give a little, you know. They're a person too, and you know, you deserve that. She's ruled that Tommy and Tiffany role play to mend their relationship. That's not gonna mend the relationship, that's weird. He's not putting a wig on. I've just seen the wig, he is not. I guarantee he uses the, he uses the word sissy again. What in the hell Isn't do you it? think you're doing? It's my room, I can do what I please. You know, I'm, I'm gonna play dad now. You turn 18, you start respecting me and I will start respecting you. I care about you and I, I want you safe. I just want understanding and... <sighs> Why are you crying? Sissy, fucking sissy. Yeah, how does that taste, huh? Sorry, I've ruined the moment, but I had to jump in there, otherwise he was gonna call me a sissy. What touched me the most was seeing my dad cry. I mean, once I seen him cry, I just knew that he cared. I just being mean on it on purpose, and I regret it now, because um, I wasted all my years. I'm gonna change the way the family treats me. Traditional stereotypical rules are definitely made to be broken. The couples are about to be reunited. I just think Shane's gonna moisturize the fuck out of her because he's been warming up like lotion for a week straight now. And he's got he's gotta put it somewhere. Just hugs her, strips her down, and just moisturizes her. It's judgment time as the couples finally come face to face across the table. Have you guys heard of uh, the Uncanny Valley where it's like um so 
if someone looks like a person but something's like just a little bit off and our brains are like programmed to find that really disturbing. This woman looks like un like she's given off the uncanny valley. I don't know what it is. Something about her isn't human. It sounded like your kids got on your nerves. Did you come home from work and it was more like, go your way, I'll go mine. So I'm a bad parent because, you know, I agree with my style, but mine worked. But you sound so cold. Okay. I sat at your table when they had dinner. They were really cold towards me and rude towards me and the words they were using was just like beyond me. I was like, Drew, I want to ask you a question. You tell me the honest God truth. <laughs> Do you think my family and I are stupid? In a roundabout way, he thought that my family and I were ignorant. Okay, you got that out perhaps? <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't know. I thought it was going to be silent. Uh, hang on, that... What the hell is that, guys? That was not me and I'm scared. Oh my God. That wasn't me, guys, and I was scared. What the hell? For what kind of questions you ask Drew, because he will tell you point blank. But there's just points where he's just mean. It's great to have intelligence, but there's a point where you have to have a sense of warmth. They need to know that you're an emotional person. It'd be nice to build a nurturing relationship. Shane is just such a sweet princess. He is just such a cute little sticky toffee pudding, he really is. It feels like an act. I don't trust Shane. I think he's being possessed by Tom. Eh. My kids, I don't appreciate you guys enough. Okay, uh, one of my rules was Shane needed to get off his feet from housekeeping. I went to a detective agency. There was this immediate respect. They're like, oh my gosh, so they offered me a job. What it built in me was that I'm still needed. Do you know how worrying that is that they just offered him a job because he guessed that the person was going to be tall, dark, and handsome? They offered him a job because of that. To be a detective. Th these are the people that are finding murderers. He's just guessed it, and it was like, no, oh, he's probably nearby. You'll probably find him at the bar, even. What the hell? How can you trust that man? I miss being the provider, being able to get out there and feel like I'm functional. It was really nice to have people go, you know what, we really need you. And I would fully support that. I am tired of doing everything at the house. It's time for me to do it equally. We're gonna do it 50-50. You know, I'm a changed man. You know, I kind of wrote you a little letter. <sighs> I'm going to show you how much I really love you every day. Oh my God, that was, <laughs> that was the best letter I've ever heard. That must have taken him ages. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be fucking longer, what the hell? I really love you, how's that? That's how you know he hasn't changed and that's how you know he's not going to change. He wrote a letter, it's like four fucking words. Sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised she's hugging them, I thought she would just go. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, her husband is pure feminine and she's wanting mine to get on his feminine side. That means we can't use anything above the fourth grade level. It was a grammatically hard week for me. I gained a lot of strength and I'm going to change the way the family treats me. Okay, we're at 2752. I'm going to skip. Yeah, it's just doubled up the footage. So that's the end. Well, that's the end of the video. If you've learned anything is to, uh, if you're a man, don't be a sissy, okay? Don't be a sissy. And if you're a woman, just do whatever you want. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what I've learned from this. I feel like I've sat here and not watched anything for an hour. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna just crawl underneath my cling film and rest. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this to your family WhatsApp group chat, especially to your grandma. See you later.